Cat, it's Maximus here. I wanted to share you, uh, share with you one of my favorite types of wrenches, although I've never owned one until actually I picked this one up to make this video. And it seems strange. Some tools uh, were around way early, 1920s, 30s, 40s, and then kind of went away. This is one of those. I think it's something that should still be around, and probably there is some manufacturer making something similar to this. So this would be called a half-inch drive socket breaker wrench. So this is actually a socket wrench because it's a wrench, but it's different from, say, spinner handle breaker bars or sliding T handles. I guess the most modern equivalent today, I just did a video about this, is these uh, L wrenches, but it's much more simple than, say, an actual forged wrench. This one is a Blackhawk, very old, 9202. Got pretty beat up, so I took it to the grinder probably to make some clearance or something. But these things are entirely valid today, although Blackhawk really liked using these retention pins instead of ball detents, which is a bit annoying. What isn't annoying is the fact that this head is just so darn small and compact. This is as small as you can basically physically get, period. People don't like these because you don't have a ratcheting action, but they're actually really valid, say, as breaker bars. They may not be quite as strong although i'm not so sure about that because there still is quite a bit of steel here uh and the anvil is actually forged into this they may still machine the the square after they forge it but it's still one piece but obviously the big advantage over any of these is just how shallow it is it's so much shorter than that l wrench if we take a uh, breaker bar here or fold that over we can see that we have just you know just gobs of extra space even compared to what's traditionally known as being low profile a t-handle still much much shorter and that's really kind of the big deal about these is that they are handy uh for those specific situations where you need to get some more torque in this case half inch drive into areas of basically quarter inch or three eighths and it's a pretty big deal it's, it's a hassle to get the sockets on that's for sure because you got to have some kind of a pin or something like this to and this has a really strong spring. God, that is a <laughs> more than a challenge to get to. At least the sockets won't ever fall off. That's for darn sure. Anyway, I have a stubby socket on here. And you can see where the handle kind of makes this transition. So the socket sips up to even a little bit closer to the top of the wrench. Really makes it compact. We can see in this instance that this wrench with a stubby socket is essentially the same size as a regular short well socket just by itself. Heck, this against the T-handle with the socket is actually shorter than the just the anvil, the T-handle by itself. So you can really get these into just some super tight spaces and that's that's the big deal about them and that's why i think they should be a little bit more common they probably would sell in auto parts stores because they aren't a bad breaker bar absolutely no moving parts or anything to worry about as simple as one of these just a little bit more useful because it's so much more compact even if it is a hassle to try to get the sockets off of here it's always been filling with this and that you really there we go and so, of course, once again, 12 points are your friend when it comes to this kind of wrench. <laughs> you just don't want to be in a situation where you have to change sockets often. There we go. Because of how difficult it is. So a 12 point will give you, instead of a 6 point faster, which means that it's every 60 degrees that you have to turn the wrench, 12 points are going to be much more handy in this situation just because it gives you 30 degree arc swings. And so that's really the big deal about this is just, it's really more applicable to these stubby sockets, but for any socket, and it's just for the situation where you really have some stubborn fasteners that you really need to use half inch drive, at least to break them before you try to get in there and run them out with a three eighths or even a quarter inch. But there is just only space for essentially quarter inch and three eighths drive tools. So this is what makes these such a, you know, such a huge advantage is this, in certain edge cases where you just need a strong breaker bar that fits in a just an absolutely tiny space and that's exactly what this does and you can see the head is so small this is a what a 19 millimeter socket and still it's, it's significantly larger than the head the head itself is only half inch five eighths inch across or something like that let's take a look 
Come on, I can't work tape measures. Uh, maybe seven eighths of an inch, but still super tiny. I wanted to point out, at least back then, this was actually a patent pending wrench. They, uh, surprisingly enough, they came out with such a simple design. Nobody else had anything similar, at least back when this was made. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you all, that uh, as far as what is the most compact head breaker bar ever made, and that would be these, these socket breaker wrenches. You, there just isn't anywhere else to remove material. These are as compact as they got. And it would be neat to still see some of these, you know, in stores or some tool companies still selling wrenches like this because they are absolutely handy. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've had situations where I've been using box wrenches to loosen fasteners where I could technically get a socket and a really compact wrench in there. But none of the wrenches were, or ratchets were really that compact. You know, you just have these ratchets, which just have massive heads compared to some... I mean, here's a big old half-inch drive ratchet. I mean, the head this absolutely dwarfs this breaker bar. I mean, it is crazy. I mean, almost just the silver housing is almost the same size as this entire wrench. So, um, really glad I picked one of these up. Basically means there's going to be more situations where I can use an easier-to-use tool setup, this and a socket. Um, well, you know, combination wrenches aren't that hard to use, but this would just be nicer because... You just have the reliability of a socket connection, being able to fit it in those tight spaces. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.